All right, folks, welcome back to Moonshine Radio. Today, what you're looking at is an amplitude modulated signal at a 27 megahertz carrier. And our, our quest for today is how do we determine the peak power of this AM signal? Well, that's just simple. You simply just go to hit the peak button there, and there you go. The peak power of the AM signal is z- negative 0.45 dBm. Well, I hate to inform you, but that actually is not the peak power. The best way to measure the peak power is to go into what's called zero span mode. And simply you hit span, you hit zero span, and then you got to bring the bandwidth manually, bring that up. Do about 30 kilohertz. You want the RBW to resolution bandwidth to be greater than the modulation bandwidth. So that's what we did there. And then trigger. We'll trigger that on a video signal. Uh, there you are. You got a nice level trigger on it. And now if we do a peak, we can see that the peak power of this signal uh, is 5.6. 26 dBm. So that is the peak power of this AM signal. But why is that number important? Well, if you're going to cascade this thing into another amplifier, uh, this is the number that you want to know what's coming out of your signal generator. Uh, It's not 0 dBm, it's actually uh, 5.26 dBm. And the rule of thumb is that um, if you have 100% modulation, the uh, carrier power, the peak power will be 60 dB higher than the carrier power. So if your spec can doesn't have this uh, zero span ability, one, you should probably get a better spec can. But <laughs> if it doesn't, um, you know, when you go back to the legacy uh, span, that the number that you measure there, you want to add six to that, and that is truly the peak power of the AM signal. So zero span is the probably the best way to measure power on a spectrum analyzer, particularly for amplitude modulated signals, whether it be AM pulse, some kind of burst waveform. And the one thing when you're doing zero span is you want to set the uh, resolution bandwidth here uh, to be greater than the modulation bandwidth. So AM signal, 30 kilohertz resolution bandwidth uh, is good. And if we do a peak, the peak power of this signal is 5.27 dBm. So that is the power that the amplifier you're going to connect to uh, is going to see. An amplifier doesn't know what the frequency domain is. <laughs> Amplifiers work in the time domain. So that's the power coming out of this signal generator. So now you need to know if you're going into another amplifier, is 5 dBm going to be too hot or too low, and whether that amplifier will be in compression or not. So that was a simple video today on measuring the peak power of an amplitude modulated signal. Moonshine Radio.